Hi students, I am Pavan, your science master. In this video, I am going to talk to 6th standard students. Students, uh, we have completed 4 chapters, right? Did you remember the names of the chapters? I want to show the names of the chapters on the screen. You can see there. Yes, students, these are the names of the chapters that we have completed. First lesson, our food. Second lesson, playing with magnets. Third lesson, rain, where does it come from? Fourth lesson, what do animals eat? So we have successfully completed these four chapters and also we have given a test on these chapters. That's FA1, Formative Assessment 1. Uh, some of the students missed writing the test. Uh, if you missed the test, you please call any teacher and you just know the information about the test. Okay, students. Uh, as much as possible we are trying to give the information each and every student and now in this video what I'm going to teach you is I'm going to teach you fifth chapter that materials and things students in this chapter we will learn about the types of materials and the things made by using that types of materials how many types of materials there and what are the things made by using the types of materials and all okay students and before uh, getting into the explanation clear explanation i would like to read that lesson okay i would like to read the lesson you please follow with your fingers okay students yeah Can you see the image on the screen? Can you see the image on the screen? What can you see in the screen? What can you see? There is a girl and there is a cat and different utensils there. Can you see that the place of our house? The room is kitchen. You know, what are the things present in the kitchen? See, you can see some containers and the ingredients we preserve uh, some of the ingredients that we use in kitchen in these containers okay and can you see the face of the girl can you see the face of the girl yes can you see the cat what is it doing it's running away why is that cat running away the cat is running away after after making all the utensils fall down in the kitchen okay students and some utensils or some things are there in the shelves and some things fell on the floor some are broken and some are not here what we have to understand is why some of the things are broken and why not some other things are broken this is the main trigger point of the lesson okay students why some of the things are broken why some other things are not broken okay students here to understand this the things that are made you know the things that are made by different what can you guess different what different materials okay students so this is the fifth chapter that we are going to talk about materials and things okay students and this in this chapter uh, I just go on reading the text you please follow with your finger students you don't get confused this is the textbook this is nothing else this is textbook that i am going to read okay students you start following me you please start following me mary was sitting in her room and studying suddenly she heard a loud sound from the kitchen mary went to the kitchen and saw a cat running away can you guess what would have happened 
write it down in your notebook. Mary saw that many objects had fallen on the floor. Some of them were broken and some were not. Can you guess which objects might have broken and which might not have broken? Fill in the table 1. Table 1. Objects that would have broken. Cup. Objects that would not have broken. Stainless steel glass. Can you guess reason why some objects broke and some did not? In our day-to-day -day life, we use several things for different activities. These things are made of different materials. For example, for example, body of your pen is made of plastic, whereas its clip is made of iron. Activity 1. Finding the materials used to make different objects. A list of things in a house are given in table 2. Name the materials from which each object may possibly be made of. If you don't know which material the object is made of, discuss with your friends and find out. Table 2. Serial number. Object and material. First object, door, made up of wood, metal, rubber. Students, you need to write the name of the material used to make these objects. Okay? Go on reading the names of the objects. Door, towel, bicycle, knife, mirror, shoes, water bottle, and pot. Students, you have to fill the empty rows here in materials column. Okay? Which objects are made of only one material? Which objects are made of more than one material? How many types of materials can be used for making chairs? Students, you can see the images in figure 2. The images of chairs. First image is made up of wood, wooden chair. Next, plastic chair. And next, you can guess what type of chair is that? Metal chair. Right. List them in the space given below. There are many objects in your surroundings such as chairs, tables, cycles, bullocks, utensils, clothes, tires, water, stones, etc. We see that different objects are made of different materials. Some objects are made of more than one material. Think some objects made of more than one material. Students, I would like to stop till here and I would like to give explanation in the next video. Students, if you want to follow this, you please once again follow my voice and you can follow the text with your eyes and fingers. Okay, students. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you one and all.